Fuck you. Dickhead. Pussy. Asshole. Idiot. Dumb ass. Motherfucker. This has to stop now. Teachers have to react. I've seen many teachers not feeling comfortable talking about cyberbullying in school. That's why I developed a game about cyberbullying to help them raise the topic and start a discussion in their classes. This game is not supposed to be the solution for cyberbullying, but to tackle the subject and prepare for actual cyberbullying cases. Because then it's important for students to feel comfortable talking to the teachers about situations like these. I want cyberbullying to stop. That's why I stand together for respect. And do you? Hi, my name is Lorcan and I'm a student in Burst King Community College in Tipperary and a member of the WebWise Youth Panel. This is my student digital pledge which focuses on what I can do as a young person to protect myself online and also on how I can use the internet to help me with school, study and keeping in touch with my friends. We all have a responsibility to use the internet in a safe and ethical way as well as the right to be safe online. So, I shared this idea through my social media platforms to show the responsibility I've been taking. I made this pledge to encourage others to make a similar pledge. You can see from my video it is very simple. It can be done on your phone and works in any language. If we as young people commit to taking responsibility for online behaviour, it will make the internet a safer place for all of us. I think this idea could be a very effective media campaign to promote online safety internationally. Every student in every country could add their voice through making their own pledge, share it and be part of making the internet a safer place. So please, Make your pledge and vote for this campaign. Mila Boykis and thank you for watching. Pour vérifier la source de l'image, qui l'a posté et quand. The aims of my project are to give pupils critical thinking skills not to be manipulated and also to fight hateful and racist contents on the web. Why did I create those courses for such young pupils? Because most of my 10 years old pupils are using the internet. So it's important to give them intellectual self-defense tools before they become teenagers. Each year, I'm impressed by their open-mindedness, their involvement, and the relevance of their remarks and questions. For two years, you can see videos with my pupils in action while decoding text and imaging on the YouTube channel IG Mansell. Help me to spread my project and train children how to navigate on the ocean of information with lucidity and ethics. Hello, my name is Marta. And I'm Edward, and we are both teachers at uh, Vilnius Latitov Sarkomle Gymnasium in Lithuania. We would like to present you our little friend, Robot Seed. The idea to create a Robot Seed was born while preparing to celebrate the Safer Internet Day. Pupils used cardboard boxes and aluminum pipes to create the robot costume. Among the lines of blinking lights on the front part of the body, there was a tablet PC installed together with a speaker which made our robot interactive. 
Thanks to the Quizmaker application, students created two types of quizzes. During the breaks, Sid was walking around the school and helping children and adults to learn about the safe ways of using the internet. So this little guy is an example of how technology can help us learn by making it fun. In future, we are planning to add some new features to make Sid even more effective to show. So create, experiment, have fun, and if you like our idea, make sure you vote for Sid. Bye! Welcome to my virtual school! In this room we chat using nicknames. We chat only with our pens. To enter, we have to fulfill our personal data that we want to share on the web. And now we can write anything we want. Later, we learn about sharing our data, how we communicate and affect other people online. With kids, we made web rules, read articles that I wrote, made a music video. We read and played my story about nice village people with funny habits. Their habits appeared on the web. And about kids who were so obsessed with their phones that they forgot how to play and laugh. Luckily, they were saved by superhero who saves web users. I wrote a poem about him, kids sued dolls, made comics and more and more. And there's more in here and in here. On the web, we can be anybody, but in real life, I'm teacher Nina Jelen from Brand School Podcom, Slovenia. Be Strong Online is a peer-led program to increase digital resilience. The best thing about it, it's led by young people. It's crucial that young people growing up in today's digital age have the information and the confidence that they need to stay safe online. The Diana Award delivers training and gives free online resources to help young people, their teachers and parents to develop the skills, confidence and knowledge that they need to tackle online issues that matter to them. We've trained over 3,000 Be Strong Online ambassadors in the UK and our feedback shows that this peer-to-peer -peer method is a highly effective way to empower young people with online safety skills and knowledge. Getting your vote and winning this award would mean that we can reach hundreds more young people across the UK. We also want to create a guide on what works in online safety initiatives, which we would share across the EU. Thank you and please vote for us. With our project Safely Online, we have been educating parents for over 10 years about the safe use of digital media. Our website and our trainings are based on the input of disadvantaged groups, universities and specialized organizations. We focus on five different themes, for example privacy and social media. This year, 200 training sessions have already been requested. 40 of those for vulnerable parents. Ik denk dat een van de belangrijkste zaken is dat, uh, dat je voldoende communiceert met kinderen. Wat ik vandaag vooral heb geleerd is dat elk kind anders omgaat met social media en dat de aanpak ook heel verschillend kan zijn. Door te communiceren leren dingen, uh, kinderen ook van um, wat ze kunnen bekijken, wat ze niet kunnen bekijken. Each year our project grows exponentially. By voting for us, you can help us to empower more parents and build awareness all over Europe for children to go safely online. How can we protect our data? What can we do against cyberbullying? And how does artificial intelligence affect our lives? Our initiative Teach Today helps children, parents and teachers to use digital media safely and competently. This is how we do it, with lots of dedication, fun and action like the Media Obstacle Course. With rich information on media literacy on our online portal full of ideas and materials for families and schools. With the children's magazine Scrawler, kids discover the digital world with hey. cool Tom and Trixie. <laughs> Puzzles, stories and tips to be tough on privacy, gaming and artificial intelligence. With our annual competition, the Summit for Kids Children Show Safe Media Usage. There are tons of questions and loads of great answers. Teach Today aims to promote these exchanges even further. In seven countries already the slogan goes, media sure but secure. And perhaps soon in your country too? Vote for us! <laughs>